The journey that a family takes with thalassemia major. So let us say that the baby is four to five months old and uh, has presented to the doctor with a very low hemoglobin and a very big uh, tummy because the liver and spleen are swollen. So the first diagnosis and counselling is really really difficult for the family because they have seen that the child is acutely unwell and we know we can stabilize them giving blood transfusion will make them feel much better within a matter of few hours. But when we say that this is a lifelong, long-term commitment, monthly blood transfusion, after 15 to 20 units of transfusion, then iron accumulates in their body. So they need to start taking tablets to reduce iron in their body. So this is like running a marathon every day for the family. And uh, 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 com completely disheartening, especially because if a simple blood test at the beginning of pregnancy could have prevented it, parents also carry the guilt that it is a preventable disorder. And I said earlier that 10,000 10, new births per year in our country, that's a predicted uh, value. We don't see that many, probably in villages, a lot of them are not diagnosed at all and they die in early infancy. So transfusion is very important if we don't transfuse these patients without uh, oxygen in their body, we can lose these patients. So every month diligently they have to have transfusion. The long term and only curative option for thalassemia major in our country is what we call a bone marrow transplantation. We used to call it bone marrow transplantation, but nowadays we call it hematopoietic stem cell transplantation or HSCT because we can get the stem cells that we need from the bone marrow or from the peripheral blood. Abroad, there are trials that are going on with gene therapy. Just change the genes of the patient and cure them of their thalassemia, but it's still under trial and the, there has not been as much success reported as in bone marrow transplantation.